it is time Kenyan start interrogating what is the ideology mm. of every political formation mm. what is your overriding economic ideology right when mm. someone says in tapea mamboga 10,000 10 billion yeah. mamboga 50 billion mm. Boda Boda has a 10 billion. Mm. What is the ideology that informs that approach? When you say we'll be doing bottom up, bottom where? Mm. Mm. Right? What does it mean? Where will you be getting these 10 billion shillings? How will you get it to give Mamamboga? How will that program be implemented? Question people's ideologies. Yeah? Poke holes. Mm. We must have an ideology-based politics. And that is what in Safina we believe in. As we are economic ideologues. Yeah, yeah. And our economic ideology is the supply side economics mm. that in a sense that is what kibaki was running on yeah, yeah. kibaki's government was based on supply side mm. it is uru and ruto who came up with this demand side type of politics which was i mean economy yeah. which is uh, the moi template mm. moi mm. also believed in the godfather government yeah. that yeah. doles out goodies mm. across the country kibaki was very clear We are running a supply side economics. I'm reducing government borrowing the domestic market. I'm lowering taxes. I'm re- reducing government over regulation of specific sectors. Mm. Allow the free market to thrive. Mm. And you all witnessed within one year. Yeah, Kenya was yeah. Within mm. one year. It didn't mm. take Kibaki five years for the economy mm. to change. Mm. Mm. In fact, in three years' time, the GDP was now growing by almost five percent in a positive growth rate. Mm. And they had inherited a GDP that was doing negative yeah. growth rate. Oh, during moist time. During moist time. By the mm-hmm. time Kibaki mm-hmm. was coming in, you know, even this thing about, uh, look at even the social programs that Kibaki did. Yeah. The economic underpinnings of them that many people don't understand, understood. Kibaki, when he came up with his free primary education, that was a social program. Mm. That thing was supposed to achieve three goals. Number one, It was meant to serve as an economic stimulus. Yeah. That I have parents across the entire country. And everybody, every parent is spending a minimum between 2000 to 5000 per child mm. in school every term. Mm. Mm. I want to take away that burden from the parent. I'll pay the school fees as government. So I've released to every parent, I've given every parent across the country per the child that they have in school. Mm. I've given you a minimum 2000. Now this parent now has money in his pocket has been released in his pocket that he could have spent on school fees now he has the 2000 shillings per child mm. if he was buying half a loaf of bread he's going to buy a full loaf yeah yeah if he was buying one cigarette per day he can now buy a packet of cigarettes yeah if he was buying half a kilo of sugar he can it's now able to buy a full uh, one kg mm. now the converse of the consequence of that is that you start seeing now money flowing in people's pockets across the entire country Mm. Even ratios became in. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Then, <laughs> because of increased consumption, mm. you start seeing the manufacturing sector growing. Because now the sugar factories have to produce more sugar yeah. than they were producing last year. The bread makers have to bake more bread. And government was going to collect the money down here as tax. Now, that is economic genius. Mm. Right? Mm. You are doing a social program that has an economic stimulus effect. Mm. The social component of it is this. Kibaki believed that education opens up someone's mind. Yeah. Right? Start it makes you start imagining things that are beyond your locality. Yeah. Education as an equalizer. Because once everybody is educated and is exposed, you start perceiving the world in a different way mm. than you knew it. Right? And mm. if you look back at his own story, He became a president yeah. just because he went to school compared yeah. to some of his siblings yeah. Yeah. who didn't yeah. have an opportunity to go to school. Mm. So he was saying, I'm going to empower this generation. right? Mm. Mm. And that is why you witness the generation of Kibaki prepared education who have now matured mm. are very vocal in questioning. Mm. I fear and I shudder at the generation that Kenya Kwanza is going to leave behind. The mm. ones who have gone to school during Kenya Kwanza. Because mm. mm. this is a, one generation of Kenyans who have been tormented mm. tormented from they didn't know they went to transit from primary school to secondary school the issue of junior secondary school was in my view mishandled mm. Mm. some of those students mm. went through an entire term with no teacher those who are lucky maybe one teacher per school mm. now they have to force the other teachers to come in and try to fill in the 
plug in the gap the question of even school funding university students until now yeah are not able to tell how they are going to get university funding mm. you have secondary schools january the increase in school fees that you are going to witness it's like this government has an innate hatred for poor people yeah yeah because you now increasing school fees for secondary schools beyond the reach of some of these parents who are not able to afford in fact are already struggling mm. with a collapsing economy now these kids are going to stay at home so where askibaki was about an empowered generation this one is going to now create a generation that is not exposed mm. to knowledge mm. mm-hmm. and cuz th- with this university thing what do you mm. think the Kenya Kwanza government is trying to achieve because if you're trying to make university education inaccessible to a mm. lot of people mm. what do you achieve how do you then expect in you know a few years time to come to them and tell them i need your vote even those secondary school kids that are going to yeah, going have to, to drop out because mm. their parents can't afford how do they expect this am it all goes back to ibc and no it may be, be you know sometimes i always say sometimes some of these things you may think it is uh, maybe it's by design yeah they don't want an empowered population right mm. they want to beat you down to a pulp yeah that all you look up to is the handout they are going to give you in election time mm. but of course if you are empowered you are knowledgeable you'll question even the source of the money if they offer it to you in election at election time mm. Mm. and our young generation have led in my view what we call the online revolution in this country mm. this is a generation that in my view kicked uru out of twitter, twitter yeah. when it started speaking nonsense and not making sense yeah, yeah. to their lives and this is a generation that is doing a revolution against william ruto mm. in terms of exposing him for his double speak yeah they are keeping him to check they are calling him out for his mismanagement of our economy they are documenting so probably they believe maybe somebody by design believes that mm. one way to respond to this revolutionary attitude of our young people mm. is to make sure that a majority of them don't have access to education, to education mm. right then maybe they not be able to use these tools that they are using mm. to hold us to account then make them desperate and we ask them to give us uh, to give us uh, handouts yeah, yeah. during elections time so they are desperate asking us for handouts mm. and we pay them some money right then they vote for us but our young people must reject this yeah right the revolution will not be televised but this one the revolution will be streamed live mm, mm, right mm, and mm, kenyans mm. are streaming it live <laughs> mm. on all platforms yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. right mm. so when the time comes i believe by the time we are done with this regime when elections will be the time the elections will be called in this country mm. the way our young people have put kenya kwanza to task mm. there will be nobody will be turning out at any polling station to mm. vote for this regime mm. 